Hello everyone, welcome to game two of the 1974 National League Championship Series between the Dodgers and the Pirates. Uh, this is the second game of the playoffs. After concluding my 1974 National League replay with uh, National Pastime Next Generation Plus baseball game, uh, it is free uh, on uh, the internet. You can download Seasons with the Excel Helper like you see here. Uh, on the screen and the game plays great the statistics are accurate uh, very very nice game uh, that has been done uh, my buddy Leon has uh, done the 1974 American League he is wrapping that season up here very soon and he will be playing his American League Championship Series and uh, the winner of my National League Championship and his American League Championship will face off in the World Series so I am recording my uh, playoff games on uh, for YouTube here so hope you enjoy it in game one uh, the Pirates uh, broke a six uh, four four tie with a six run bottom of the eighth inning and it went on to win ten to four to take a one game to none lead over the Dodgers uh, this is game two uh, the uh, pitchers will be Andy Messersmith a 24 game winner of the Dodgers and Jim Rooker, 13-game winner for the Pirates. Uh, the lineups are Lopes, Buckner, Wynn, Garvey, Ferguson, Say, Russell, Yeager, and Messersmith for the Dodgers, and Stennett, Hebner, Oliver, Stargell, Parker, Sanguin, Kirkpatrick, Tavares, and Rooker for the Pirates. We're about set to get Game 2 underway. The Dodgers would love to win this game and split the Two games in Pittsburgh before going home for the final three uh, in LA. It's a best of five series, so winning the first game is a big advantage. Uh, so the Pirates lead one game to none. Let's get started with game two. Davy Lopes will lead off. He went one for four in game one, and he 46 to 26. He grounds out uh, to second for first out of the game. Bill Buckner will be next. Buckner went 0 for 4 in game 1. Buckner a fine hitter though. 56-34, that's a line out to the first baseman, so Buckner hit it hard, but right at the first baseman, Kirkpatrick, for two outs. Jimmy Wynn will be next. Wynn hit 37 homers in the regular season. It's 1 for 4. Here it was 1 for 4 in game 1. And he grounds out to first to end the inning. So 3 up, 3 down for Rooker here in the top of the first. Bottom of the first now, Rennie Stennett leads off for the Pirates, and he singles to right. Lead off single for Stennett, and Richie Hebner will be next. Hebner, 22 is a 7, but the 45 is stopped by Messerschmitt's 45, so it just barely stops it, but it's a ground out, runner to second, and that's the first out. Stennett in scoring position. Al Oliver will be next. Oliver, 61 to 40. That's a fielder's choice. Runners out at third. Oliver safe at first. So a tap in front of the plate. Jaeger throws to third in time to nip Stennett at third. So we have a runner at first now with two outs. And uh, let's see, that will be a ground out. Oliver's at first, and Stennett was out. So two out men at first for Willie Stargell, who went two for four, two doubles, and an RBI in game one. Stargell gets hit by the pitch, 46-44, that's a bean, so hit by a pitch, and uh, Stargell will try it to first, and Oliver will go to second. So here's Parker, Dave Parker getting the start in game two after he hit a pinch hit two-run homer in the sixth inning of game one to give the Pirates at that time a four to three lead. So he gets the start in place of Richie Sis today. But he strikes out uh, in his first at bat to strand two runners. So the Pirates threaten but don't score in the first. We'll go to the second. Steve Garvey will lead off for the Dodgers. Garvey went four for five with three RBIs in game one. He had the best game of all the Dodgers. And there's a ground out one away. Joe Ferguson singles to center. So one on, one out now. Garvey grounded out and single. Ron Say will be next. And Say flies out 
two down for Bill Russell. Dodgers trying to get something going. And R Russell, 33s and H, 51s and two. That's a triple on the right field foul line, scoring the run, and the Dodgers take a one nothing lead just like they did yesterday. So now we got a runner at third with two outs, Jaeger up and Messer Smith on deck. They'll go ahead and put Jaeger on. Um, don't want to risk another run being knocked in there if they can get Messer Smith. So Messer Smith will be up with runners at the corners, two outs, and he struck him out. So the Dodgers score one on Russell's RBI triple, but that's all they can get, stranding two runners. Bottom of the second, Sanguin will lead off for the Pirates, trailing one to nothing. 14 is a 30, that's a fly to left, one down. And Ed Kirkpatrick will be next. Kirkpatrick went two for four in game one. And he draws a one-out walk, 14, a 45 is a 14. So Ed is on at first with one out for Frank Tavares, number eight, uh, hitting shortstop for the Pirates. Light hitter, but good speed. And he bounces a single, an uh, infield single. And now the Pirates have something going here in the second. Jim Rooker will be next. Rooker is a very good hitting pitcher. Um, you can see his card over here. A terrific hitter. Uh, so they're probably going to let him hit away rather than sacrifice. So here's the pitch to Rooker, two on, one out, and he struck him out. 24 is a 13. Messersmith gets him. So that's two away now for Rennie Stennett. Pirates had this same situation in inning one where they had first and second two outs, and uh, Messersmith got out of it. Let's see if Stennett can make him pay. 45 is a 14. That is a walk to load the bases. So two straight innings. The uh, Pirates are threatening. Master Smith was about the best uh, pitcher. He was the best pitcher in the National League replay, winning 24 games, losing 11. He had an ERA of around 2.25, winning the Cy Young Award. So Master Smith is definitely the best pitcher in the league, but he's been struggling so far in the game, but has not allowed a run yet. Here's Hebner. Hebner homered in game one. He's got bases loaded, two outs. Here's the pitch. 36-26, that is a grounder to second to end the inning. So once again, Messer Smith ex uh, escapes uh, threatening, a threatening situation from the Pirates. We go to the third, top of the order for the Dodgers, Lopes. Singles to left center, leadoff single for Lopes. That's a good start for L.A. Here is Buckner, Bill Buckner. This might be a good time to hit and run. Lopes has good speed, Buckner as makes good contact. Hit and run play, and it's a line, it's a strike them out, throw them out. Well, that didn't work. So bad call there, and that's two away. And Jimmy Wynn will be next. So two outs all of a sudden now, nobody on. Wynn, 52, 27 is a ground out to third. So that ends the inning. So promising start turns into nothing. As we go to the bottom of the third, Al Oliver will lead off. Oliver pops to second. That's one down. Oliver had a big three-run triple in game one. He went one for five. And he's 0 for two in game two so far. Willie Stargell was hit by a pitch his first time up. And this time he flies to center. So no harm. Two down. And Messersmith trying to have an easy inning after struggling in the first two innings. Here's Parker. And 52-27, K-4, Messerschmitt strikes out a lot of batters, so 52 is a 27. That's usually a ground out, but with Messerschmitt, it's a strikeout. So Parker has struck out for the second time in a row. We go to the fourth. We head to the middle innings, one nothing Dodgers. L.A. really needs this game going back to L.A. They don't want to fall down 0-2 in a best-of-five playoff format. <clears throat> Garvey leads off. 1430s a fly out. One away. Joe Ferguson will be next. And Fergie also flies to left. Two down for Ron Say. Say low out his first time up. Grounds to short this time. Three up, three down inning. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. One nothing LA. 
Sanguian leads off with a single. 11 is an H63-7 leadoff single for Manny Sanguian. And the Pirates have a good start to their fourth inning. Ed Kirkpatrick will be next. And he walks. Now the Pirates are in business. Two on, nobody out for Frank Tavares. Uh, with Rooker being such a good hitter, I think I'm going to bunt Tavares for the pitcher spot. You don't see that very often. But it's a good sacrifice. Now there's runners at second and third. For the pitcher, Jim Rooker, a good hitting pitcher. 12s at 25. That's a line out to second. Uh, Lope Spears at two away now. And Messer Smith could possibly escape damage again. Here's Stennett. He had two on and two out in the second inning and failed to deliver. Let's see if he can this time. 36 is a 33. That's a pop out to first. So second and third, one out. First and second, no outs, and the Pirates do not score, so Messer Smith living dangerously, but so far it hadn't hurt him. one nothing going to the fifth. Billy Russell leads off. He tripled in the only run of the game back in the second. Grounds to short here, one down. And Steve Yeager will be up. Yeager is hitless in the series. He got walked intentionally his first time up here, and he grounds out. That's two away. And Messer Smith will be up with two out, nobody on, and he strikes out. So three up, three down inning for Rooker again. Rooker pitch a fine ball. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Richie Hebner will lead off. And he flies uh, to center, one away. Al Oliver will 24 13. That's a strikeout, two away. And Billy Starge will be up next. My dogs are here having fun. You hear growling and playing in the background. Uh, Willie Stargell flies to right. Uh, that ends the inning. So the uh, Pirates uh, don't score. Hush. Hush. And Davy Lopes will lead off the sixth. L.A. leading one to nothing. And he singles to left and then steals second. Yeah, Lopes stole 63 bases in the regular season, so he is definitely a good stolen base man. And he does it there. Uh, Buckner now with Matt second. No bat. Let's see if he can get that runner over to third or even knock him in. And he walks. So now the Dodgers have something going here. As we hit, uh, hit, hit as they hit here in the sixth inning. Two on. Nobody out for Jimmy Wynn. And when double play ball, he rounds back to the mound with one six three double play, and that's that's a killer. Uh, runner at third though, so that's a double play ball. Uh, Lopes goes to third, two outs though for Garvey, with Ferguson up next. Garvey's definitely a better hitter than Ferguson. Could walk him, but Ferguson has home run power. We'll let Garvey hit away, and he grounds back to the mound also. So a wasted opportunity for L.A. to extend their lead there. They're playing with fire, only scoring the one run so far, and Pittsburgh threatening every inning. So we'll see if Messersmith can hold them off uh, or not. Parker will lead off the sixth. He's whiffed twice against Messersmith. And he does it again. Three straight strikeouts for Messersmith uh, on Dave Parker. Sanguin will be next. And he grounds out. That's two away. Master Smith looking to have an easy inning here in the sixth. Ed Kirkpatrick flies to right, left. I mean, so three up, three down for Master Smith and the against the Pirates in the sixth. We go to the late innings. One to nothing. L.A. L.A. would like to tack on a couple more runs to have a little breathing room here. Can they do it? Ferguson will lead off the seventh. Flies to center. 34 is a four, uh, 31. And the next batter will be Ron Say. Say 1 for 7 in the playoffs. 0 for 2 today. But he gets his pitch there. 66-1. That is a home run. And the Dodgers take a 2 to nothing lead now. Say with the home run. He had 18 homers in real life. And he can definitely hit it out. 2 to nothing L.A. now. Here's Russell, who tripled in a run back in the second. And he grounds to short there. Two away. 
and Jaeger will be up. Jaeger also has home run power. But he walks here. A two out walk, that'll at least clear the pick, pitcher as Messersmith uh, comes up. And he grounds in the fielder's choice. So that ends it. But the Dodgers score one to make a 2 nothing lead. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Time for the trivia question. What Yankee pitcher lost a one-hitter in the 1947 World Series when Cookie Lavagetto pinch hit a game-winning double in the ninth inning? That was Bill Bevins. Uh, I've seen video film of that. Uh, Bill Bevins, a relatively unknown pitcher for the Yankees in the late 40s. Uh, had a no-hit bid with two outs. I, I think it was two outs in the ninth uh, when the Dodgers uh, won the game on a pinch double to right field by Lavagetto. And Floyd Bevins. I thought it was Bill Bevins. Maybe, maybe it is both. But uh, Bevins is the guy. Back to the game here, bottom of the seventh. Pittsburgh now trails by two. Time running out. Messersmith throwing a good game. He's faced 25 batters. His stamina before he gets tired is 31. So he'll be coming up on tired here before long. Tavares flies to center. One away. And they're going to lift uh, Rooker, even though he's a great hitting pitcher. Uh, we'll try to get some offense going. Uh, Popovich is a left-hander. Uh, Parker is in the lineup. So Popovich will get the call here. Paul Popovich will pinch hit for Rooker. Almost rather Rooker bat. Uh, Popovich bounces meekly to second. Two away. And top of the order for Stenner. He's one for two with a walk. Hitting 143 in the series. Flies to center. And that's another three up, three down inning for Master Smith, who seems to have settled after the struggling the first three or four innings. We're going to the eighth. Um, the Pirates will bring on Ken Brett. Ken Brett had a fine year, but uh, has been battling some injury issues and is not scheduled to have a start in the playoffs, but thought he could pitch an inning two in the bullpen. So Ken Brett will come on. Left-hander for the Dodgers. I'm sorry, the Pirates. On to the eighth. L.A. leads 2 nothing. Can they extend the lead? Lopes will lead off. Grounds back to the mound. One away. And Buckner singles to right. So Billy Buck finally gets a hit. That's his first hit of the series. And here's Jim Wynn. Let's see if he can keep things going for the Dodgers. Single over first. 33 is an H. 53 is an 11 C. He singles. Buckner to third, but is thrown out trying to steal. So the good and bad there. First hit of the game for Wynn. But he gets caught stealing. So Garvey's at third with two outs. Same situation he was in back in the sixth inning when he grounded out to end the inning. Let's see if he can come through this time. And he does. Garvey with another RBI. That single makes it 3 nothing, And that is Garvey's fourth RBI of the series. And it's 3 nothing L.A. now. It's L.A. trying to even this series. <clears throat> Ferguson will be next. And Ferguson, single, line drive to left, runner to second. So another hit. Ferguson's two for four. And here's Say, who homered his last time up back in the seventh. And he flies out this time. <clears throat> so bottom of the eighth, now a 3 nothing lead for L.A. Messer Smith, 28 batters face, 31 he gets tired. Ebner, Oliver, and Stargell. And then Parker, four straight left-handers. Uh, could bring on Jim Brewer, but Messer Smith's got the shutout going. This isn't the 2000s uh, uh, baseball managing style. And back in the 70s, if you had a shutout going, you did not come out of the game. Hebner flies to center, one away. Oliver will be next. Oliver, a great hitter, is not only a hit he's had at a three-run triple in game one and has done nothing else. Flies to center again. So that is two away. And Stargell. Stargell's two for six with two doubles in the series, and he walks. So a two-out walk. For Stars, I'll bring up Parker, who has fanned all three times against Messersmith. And he singles this time, so first and second. See that 
read there, the uh, stamina, uh, Messersmith has gone past his tired range. So he is, uh, he is now officially tired. So we have to drop him a notch here on his ratings. The Pirates have two on, two out for Sanguian. Let's see what Messersmith does here. Single to right, bases are full now. Well, still got the shutout going. Here's Kurt Patrick, who can hit it out. Ed Kurt Patrick's got home run power. Um, let's see if Messersmith can get out of this. And he does. He pop, gets him to pop to first. So Messersmith's been playing with fire the whole game, but has not allowed a single clutch hit for the Pirates. And it's still 3 nothing as we go to the ninth. Uh, Ken Brett will be facing Russell Yeager and Messersmith. Russell grounds to short. Yeager. 25 is an 8, but the 14 is stopped by Kenny Brett's rating there. So ground out and a line out. And Messersmith will stay in the game, even though he's tired. Singles to right. That's the 10th Dodger hit. And Lopes. And he also singles. So first and second for Buckner. Lefty against lefty. This will be uh, Brett's last batter no matter what. Out at first. Ball hit in front of the plate. The catcher to first. So that ends the inning. A little tapper in front of the plate. Bottom of the ninth. L.A. 3-0. Messersmith looking to hold off the Pirates. Tavares will lead off. Let's see, i got to lower him another notch. 35, 43. All right, Tavares leads off. Single over short. Good start for Pittsburgh. And pinch hitter now. Bob Robertson's got great home run power, but the home run will not even tie it. So we'll send Richie Zisk up to hit. Zisk, good hitter. He does have home run power too, but not as much as Robertson. All right, Zisk pinch hitting. And that's a ground ball. Uh, runner takes second. So one out. L.A. just looking for outs here. Stennett will be next. And he grounds out to short. Runner goes to third. So Metzler Smith one out away from the shutout. Here's Hebner. Can he keep it going? Any foul fly to left. That ends the game, and the Dodgers have tied this series with a six-hit shutout for Andy Messersmith. Here's the box score. Lopes with three hits. Say hit a home run. Russell with a RBI triple, and Garvey had a two-out RBI single in the eighth. Uh, Pittsburgh threatened all game long. They left uh, 11 men on base. They never could get that clutch hit when they needed it. Messersmith uh, was able to go the distance, a six-hitter, uh, four walks, five Ks, and the series is even one game apiece as they head back, head to Los Angeles now for the final three games. Uh, the fifth game, there will be a game three and a game four. Uh, game five is if necessary. So all the rest of the series will be played in Los Angeles. We'll see if the Pirates uh, can take game three. Uh, the game three will be a big one. If LA wins it, they'll have a huge advantage. But Pittsburgh needs to take that one. It'll be Keeson for Pittsburgh and Doug Rowe for the Dodgers in game three. We'll see you for that game in the next video. Thanks for watching.